Everybody, John here and today onto the garage I'm putting some new speakers on the dashboard of Ruby the Rapido and I thought it was a good excuse to show you a little tip for using a jigsaw inside a car on an uneven dashboard or um, a trim panel something like that so here we are on a rather larger dashboard than most cars it has to be said these are the speakers that are coming out they're um, 10 centimeter speakers uh, pioneers this one's okay the other one is actually uh, blown and the center element a little extra cone is not actually glued in anymore it bounces around on top of the grill and i'm replacing them with these rather nicer sony two-way units and uh, they go in a hole, just lovely, but I want to move the hole just slightly and the grills are very slightly out of round, they're elliptical. So we have this nice template, Sony thoughtfully included with a kit. So we can see, I've got to make this aperture a little bigger, but how to cut it. If it was a flat plank of wood and it was on your worktop or in your garage, then you just jigsaw it out. But this is all uneven, etc. etc. But you can still use a jigsaw. We're going to start off by just removing all the spire nuts from around the speaker hole. That keeps that safe. And I can, in this vehicle, just move this little dashboard mat out of the way. You can see that used to sit just there. The new speaker won't quite sit down at the moment because the hole's not um, big enough, but the depth is actually the same, so there's no problems with collision down there. Got our template. As I say, they're slightly elliptical. So position that nicely and then I'm going to draw, find where I put my pen. Right, this template has got little holes, whoops, punched in it. So I just poke them out as well. It's the simplest of thing to include a template when you're selling speakers, but not everybody does it. This is just, you know, part of the box, but they've perforated. Great idea, and a real miss by people who don't include it with their product. Well done, Sony. Right, there we go. So, I'm just kind of evenly positioning it to fit this curve nicely. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that screw holes then this inner edge it's all covered up so it doesn't matter if I leave a bit of marker pen but equally if you're doing this right, you should be cutting off the marker pen because the marker pen is inside the template. There we go. Next, I'm going to draw my holes.
Next I want to cut it out, but with the lumps and bumps, you know, the shoe of your jigsaw isn't going to work. So, little hole I made earlier, which has two purposes. One, it's nice and flat and I can sit the edge of the jigsaw on it and maneuver it into whatever position I want. And the other one is it reduces the blade length to stop me worrying about colliding with things underneath the dashboard. Plastics are best cut slow and with a pretty savage blade, a wood blade. Uh, otherwise they tend to heal over. If you've got a, a posh jigsaw like mine with a pecking action, turn it off else you'll get a ragged finish. There we go, one neat hole. So now we can ooh, remember to put the wires on. It's quite important. One. That one's not very tight. Give it a little squeeze. The round speakers, so the only reason that orientation is important is it says Sony. But the grills that go on top are slightly elliptical. So it's quite important to get that right. And that is how you cut a speaker hole in a non-even surface using a jigsaw. You can obviously use other tools. You could use a handheld um, pad saw. You could use a Stanley knife or a craft knife. Be very careful if you're using knives, these, particularly when you're around corners and things like this. You always end up pulling towards yourself and cutting the finger off. So in many ways, the power tool is actually safer. Hopefully you'll join us again for some more telegarage tinkering, whether you're into XK8s, motorhomes, Jeeps, you name it, if it's fun, we're playing with it. If you're enjoying our channel, then don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. And please give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and you can share the videos. And below the video is always the area where you can comment and get involved with the chat.